Gorilla Tag, a fun game where you're a gorilla. You move for your hands, which makes it really unique. You can play games like Tag, Hunt, Paintball, and many more, as the community makes many games every once in a while. The game is really fun and addictive, but there's one slight thing about it that spooks the community. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Run! 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 Dude, over colors are Oh my, oh my. Dude, the gravity is terrible. You make kids cry. You suck. You're an idiot. You made Lemmings' life awful. PBBV. Dude, what the heck? Um. Dude, PBBV was the first gorilla tie ghost to be logged and seen. He is reported to be seen at the bridge with the salmon colored uh, name. His name changes. His uh, name is PBBV. It can be run and many others. Sometimes it can be uh, just numbers. He plays static music. He plays static sounds, I mean. And he just runs around the bridge and then he points at someone and it says that if you touch him, you can get banned for an hour or maybe even a week. It depends if you make him mad by tagging him or just something else by making him mad. Echo. Echo is a female ghost. They are cyan, just like J-Man Curly, with a sun hat on, aka the blue sun hat that you can find inside a city. They can roam around canyons and they can kick or ban you. J-Man Curly actually uh, talked to the creator of Echo, so I will play that clip here, and I'll just play the important stuff. If you want the full clip, just go to J-Man Curly's channel, and you'll find the video, I Exposed the Gorilla Tag Ghost. Hello? 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 Hey, okay, can you just tell me? How did you first get involved with this? How did you get involved with this bot, like this whole Echo thing? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I was playing Gorilla Tag like usual. This was like in 2021. Still pretty new to the game. And I th think, yeah, I had a, rin a rented Rift S. I do remember the code, like the day I was playing. It was ST59. I s and I, I just started playing like usual, but two people then approached me calling out my name, which was at the time Echo Mist. The names were PBBV and Azel. Okay, so you, um, you met Azel in game then? Yeah. So that post must have come, the post came after, obviously, yeah. They acted very welcoming and nice and actually helped me learn a few things in the game, which I was grateful for. But the topic of my gender was brought up and I told them that I was a female. They then went on to make some sexist comments and a few jokes about it which I didn't appreciate, so I felt uncomfortable and decided to part ways with them. Three days later, I jumped back into the game and they are coincidentally in the first lobby I joined. Mm. I left. The same exact thing happened the next day. It was just a complete cycle of them being in my codes, them joining like straight after me. So so you were getting tracked then? Yeah. Okay. Did Unfair ever contact you like the original Reddit poster or was it just through a gorilla tag or like? What, what happened after that? Talking wise, it was through Gorilla Tag, but like secondary contact, it was through Discord with at least five accounts. The main person, PBBV, kept messaging me the words Echo and 555-999 and saying, let us help you. I've, I've never told this to anyone for security reasons, but they revealed my first name, my last name. They sent pictures of me that were already, already like existing, my school, and a picture of me walking into a venue with my ex for a school dance. I was asking them questions, how they got those, and Azel then went to tell me that they lived in my country 
along with PBBV and that they were living in my state and knew a good lot of information about me. I knew this was someone I didn't know because no one from my school played VR, let alone Gorilla Tag. If that isn't scary, I don't know what is. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap off this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me a really long time to edit, and uh, shout out to all the people in this video because most of these clips are not from me. They are from T-Bone VR, etc., like Jim and Curly and people like that. In the top left, every time I play someone's clip, I show their username, so all credits go to the original owners. None of this is mine other than the voices in the video that I voice over, obviously. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will make a gorilla tech, more gorilla tech video soon. So uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. No one, apart from Lemming, can ban you from this game. Um. This is actually creepy. Dude, this is this is actually creepy. Um